Hey guys, welcome, welcome to live paint night. So today we're doing something a little different. We're doing the vase. And I'll give everyone kind of a minute to start tuning in and then I'll go over the materials. So I'm also just getting the comments pulled up. And please let me know in the chat box if you are painting along with me, just so I can kind of get an idea of how many of you are painting. This one is actually a fairly quick and easy one. It's uh, probably one of the shorter ones. And you can, of course, do it later at any point in time. Oh, messy this background here. Okay, just pretend that stuff's not there. All right. So let's go over the materials. So first of all, I've got a glass vase, obviously. Um, you could do this on a jar, like a mason jar, or anything would be super fun. Hey, all spicy. Uh, step one is to clean it with alcohol. I know this bottle is covered with paint, but trust me, it's alcohol. So just get off any dirt and fingerprints. And as you go, try not to touch the parts that you'll be painting. So touch the the rim here we won't be painting. Oh goodness. And also I often just stick my hand in it. So I haven't done, this is gonna be fun or not really, that was sarcastic, but trying to fit it into the screen there. I'm gonna move this one way over here before I break it. Okay. Hey Tyler, hey Annette. Hey Johnny. <laughs> so the paints that I'm using are folk art. I think they're all folk art, yeah. Enamel paints, so it says enamel on the front and then you'll notice that it has a wine glass on the top. You can get these at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Amazon, any art and craft store really. Um, you just wanna look for the ones that have that glass. They almost always will have that or they'll say enamel paint and then you just read the bottle and it says it's what it's good for, you know what I mean? Hey, Tina. So that's what I'm using. If you don't have those paints, those are definitely the best ones. But if you don't have those paints, feel free to use another acrylic paint. Just know that you'll probably need to seal your vase with either um, like a resin or something to keep the paint on there. The good thing about the enamel paint is that you don't have to seal it. It does have a cure time, which I'm gonna say now, and then I'll say again at the end of the video. You want to either let it cure on the shelf for three weeks by itself, or even better is to stick it in the oven and you will stick it in the oven cold, like 100% cold. And then you turn the oven on to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You bake for 30 minutes, turn the oven off and then let it cool all the way. This will prevent it from cracking because as a lot of us probably know, you can't go too hot, too cold, too quickly with glass or it cracks. So that works out perfectly. Thank you so much, Tyler. Okay, we're gonna get started. I'm using only two brushes for this one, the medium flat brush and a little detail brush, but you can do it with just a little detail brush. And that might even be better. Like this one actually looks like it was done with just a little detail brush. Use any colors you want. Um, Jennifer, I'm not sure your entire question came through. So the colors I have here, oh, does it have to say glass? Well, I'll just go through that again really quickly. This paint is designed for glass and you do not have to seal it with anything. If you're gonna use regular acrylic paint, you will have to seal it for the paint to stay on there. So in terms of colors that I'm using, I have green, blue, yellow, and gold. Ignore the fact that my blue looks like a weird star. That's just how it came out of the bottle. And we're gonna go basically dark to light on this. So I'm starting with some green that I'm going to mix with some blue. So it's basically going to be kind of a darker green. I guess like a bluey green, a teal. I'll show you up close. And that's gonna be kind of our darker color here. Hi, Katie Bug. 
So I like to start from the bottom, the middle here, and we're gonna go up and basically just do a bunch of lines and they don't need to be right next to each other. I've counted at one point and I don't remember how many lines it was, um, but basically you wanna do ones that are different heights. So you're gonna have some that are long and some that are short and you can have some that are closer together and some that are farther apart. Okay, basically we're going to be doing a bunch of layers. So go ahead and start with that color. I am actually gonna not use this brush. <laughs> I'm gonna actually switch over to my small little, little detail brush. Use whatever is more comfortable for you. I think this brush is just too stiff. Also with this glass paint, you really, really wanna load up your brush. Oh, thank you so much, Annette. Okay, so I'm having to violate my touching rules here. I'm trying to keep it in the screen. Okay, yeah, that's much better. This paint is a little thicker, so it's kind of can be difficult to get solid lines, but keep going around and I will tell you approximately when to stop with this color and then we're gonna fill it in with the next color. And uh, definitely let me know down in the comments, guys, who is painting along and let me know if you have any questions as we go because obviously I can't see you in person, so normally you would just raise your hand or say, hey, teacher. <laughs> but here you gotta let me know in the chat box. All right, I'm gonna actually adjust this tripod a little. I'm sorry, but it is really hard to hold this in the camera and paint at the same time. So I think a little more of an angle will help. There we go. That is definitely more comfortable. And you do not need like perfect lines. You don't need straight lines, wispy lines. Uh, one caution on this is don't go too wavy with your lines. You don't want straight lines, but you also don't want really wavy lines or it ends up looking like seaweed basically. And we're going for grass, not seaweed. So you do want it to have kind of a little wave, but not much. And do not forget to add in your different lengths. Thanks, Danielle. Yeah, feel free to follow along later at your own pace or, you know, after you get your materials. So you can kind of see how many I have there. I'm going to fill it in just a little bit more with this color. And then I'm going to go on to the next one. You can also just paint your bottom a solid color. You don't have to start from the bottom middle like I do here. I just kind of like it. And then you can turn it over and make sure that your grass is going high enough. Like if I look, it's a little too low for me. So I'm going to make some that go a bit higher. Hey, Veronica. And I can either add some new ones in or just extend some of these a little higher. Because I want some that kind of go way up here. Thank you so much, Katie. Uh, let's do another one in here. Uh-oh, keep hitting that guy. All right. This is definitely by far one of the easiest ones, I will say. Even the flowers are super easy. I have not yet had somebody that couldn't get this one. The only thing I've had happen is people made it look maybe a little too much like seaweed, <laughs> but okay. So you can see there, we're done with the blue phase. Do more if you want, but I'm going on to the next one, which my next one is going to be just green. So it's the solid green and I'm going to be filling in some more lines now. Feel free to overlap, but we really want to get it filled in. 
and you're not going for stripes, guys. So put them at different lengths and different spacings in between each other. Feel free, like see how I put two greens in there? We do not want stripes. Um, this is not pouring paint. This is acrylic enamel paint, and it is not mixed with anything. You just use it right out of the bottle. It's specifically designed for glass. If you did want to use a different acrylic paint that's not designed for glass, you would just have to seal it. Oh, bye, Tara. Tara, I'm the worst person. Wait, are you still there? Can you stay for like two seconds so I can tell you something? <laughs> If not, I'll just email you later or message you later. I guess she had to go, okay. <laughs> yeah, no worries. And I will try to remember to go and list out the materials in there later. But um, I did give the... Um, Curing instructions at the beginning, I will also give them again at the end. So at this stage, we're just going in here with green. Keep, keep doing the different lengths and different distances. No stripes. And we're just adding a little wave. So some of my blue ones are pretty close, so I'm not even gonna go in between those. Thank you so much, Becky. I appreciate that so much. You guys are awesome. All right. And you can go back and forth between colors. So let's say that you go a little too far with your green, and maybe you wanna add a little more blue back in. Go ahead and do that. And then once again, do not afraid, be afraid to overlap. So see here, this one's crossing over. In real grass, it crosses over. They overlap, etc. I'm gonna fill in this side a little bit more. Aw, oh, thank you, Rita. You're awesome. And then we're gonna go on to the next color, which the next one, we're basically, we started dark for our shadows and then we're going to the regular green and then next we have we're going to do yellow mixed with green so that's going to be a lighter green for kind of some highlights in the grass okay i think that's pretty good for right now i'm going to go ahead and go on to the next color and then i may come back and fill in some of these spots a little bit more Thank you, Cindy. All right, let's carefully put this down. So I'm gonna take a little bit of the yellow and mix it with some green. There's no exact mixing amounts here. You're just going for a light yellow green. So I'll show you up close. This is the color that I'm using. So just some yellow mixed with some green. <laughs> and for anyone who hasn't joined these live paint nights, they are much more, they're pretty relaxed, you know, it's supposed to be nice and relaxing and fun. So my cats are wrestling behind me. I do have my spray bottle though to keep my kitten away from my tripod because she likes to attack it. <laughs> but anyways. Maybe in a little bit, I'll show you the kitten because she's adorable and she's kind of made an appearance on all the lives in here so far, the live paint nights. Hi, Bonita and Mary. Okay, so same thing. You're going to just fill it in more with this now lighter green color. Very simple. Keep it simple. Don't make it complex. And just fill it in as much as you want. And if you feel the need, go back and add more of another color that you already did. That's totally fine. All right. 
How is everyone's week going? Does anyone have anything exciting planned for Memorial Day weekend? Like, you know, going all the way to the backyard? <laughs> or, you know, maybe hanging out in the living room for an extra an hour, you know, or something? Can you guys hear the cats behind me? I think they're so funny. All right, almost done. Filling in a few more spots, going a little bit faster. And I'm gonna go back to some of these, like some of these lines are just a little too sloppy. I'm gonna kind of fix them up. Sherry, um, I got mine off of Amazon. If you look down in the description, there's a link that says uh, purchase the art supplies that I use. So I have the link in there to the one that I got. And I've gotten two so far. I will be getting more in the next couple weeks because it's very addicting and it's you get sad only being able to do one at a time. <laughs> Yeah, if these were pink, purple, yellow, they could be party streamers. Totally. All right. So at this point, I'm pretty much, it's filled in a lot. I'm going to go faster and kind of just a little more sloppy. Fills in some more. And this is kind of just literally to fill in some space without exact lines. I might even do some with the bigger brush here. Let's try that. Yeah. So this will just help fill it in a little more. But we've got kind of our main lines in there. I like that. Look at that. We got ourselves some grass. And the bottom, you can do a solid color. Oh, I definitely need more on this side. Um, it's just called a cup turner, Sherry. It's or a cup rotator, I think, is what it's called on there. Or a tumbler rotator. It'll probably have a few different names. I think the one that I have specifically is called a cup turner. So just filling in some here. Do -do -do. All right. I noticed this side looks a little bit bare, so I'm gonna add a few more lines there. Um, let me see. Katie, you're gonna spend some time in your backyard. Excellent. Rita said all the colors you're using are enamels. Yes, they are. Yeah, Mary, I think Walmart has been sold out of a lot of things, so you'll probably have to get them online, unfortunately. I guess a lot of people are staying home doing arts and crafts, which is excellent. So I'm just adding in a few more lines over here because it was a bit bare. All right. I think that this looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Thanks, Dawn. The last step on this is I like to add gold. You do not need to, but I like gold. And gold adds like a nice sunshine highlight. The gold is fairly um, transparent, so it's not gonna be like a really solid color like the others. And it'll really just add a fun little highlight. I don't know if you can see that. But to me, it's like sunshine on there. Jennifer, are you talking about the cup turner? Is about 30 bucks, yeah. So just go in here with as much or as little gold as you want. And you don't have to do the gold. 
totally optional. I just like the gold. Makes me feel like it's a sunny day. Plus I really love green and gold together. So it reminds me of peacock feathers. And you can see it's pretty light. It's very transparent, so I don't think it stands out too much. I have it's a little heavier on the edge there, but okay. Excellent. I think that's pretty good on the gold. So we're going to go on to the flowers. Now I normally use white for this, but you can use any colors you want. So you can see this is white. I find the white stands out the best. Um, however, for today's, I'm actually using a pearl pink and I'll tell you why, because I, um, lent my sister-in-law a bunch of my paints and I just realized that she never gave them back. So I lent out all my whites actually to two sister-in-laws and neither of them gave back any paint. <laughs> so I'm going to have to retrieve those and I didn't realize it till today so I only have pink. All right. Um, Dawn, I Pretty sure it would be dishwasher safe, but I personally would not put anything hand painted in a dishwasher. So that's just my policy and my thought. Okay. Uh, thank you, Angie. Okay, so step one is we're adding the yellow dots that go in the middle there. And I do that no matter what color flowers I'm doing. And really, quick, easy, and cheap. I just use the back of my brush <laughs> and you're just going to put a dot. That's literally all there is to that step. You're going to put them some higher and some lower. Now I start with about maybe about 10 dots at a time because otherwise I've done it where I put like a hundred dots and then I was like, crap, it took me like hours to fill in all those flowers. So start with about 10 spread out and then add more if you feel like it. Hey Maria, it's um, what's called super chat or super sticker, which is a donation. Yeah. And if you look at the bottom of the chat box, there's a little like dollar symbol and it's got like a virtual tip jar. So it just helps, you know, cover supplies and whatnot. There is also um, a link for PayPal donation in the description. So if anyone wants, they could do that too. It's absolutely not required, but if you want to. It showed up, Angie. It says, sending you guys love from Min. <laughs> All right, so I wasn't counting because I was talking. Let's see, I got one, two, three, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, about ten dots. Yeah. Uh, Mary, it's a donation. It's nobody's buying anything. <laughs> Anyways, maybe. Uh, oh, Danielle already did explain it. Okay. So now that we've got our dots, we're going to go on to our flowers, and this is definitely done with a small brush. So I'm going to show you guys up close. I'm going to do this kind of awkwardly. My hand's going to come from the other side. Make sure that you're watching this in high definition, okay? All right. So all you're doing is going from the center, and we're just going to make some little lines going out. That's literally it. Take your time. Go all the way around the circle. You can do, of course, any kind of flower you want, but these are like little, the little daisies that are in the flower field. So that's literally all there is to the flowers. Not anything more complicated than that. Thank 
you, Maria. Mary, you do not have to. It's totally if you want to. Just think of it literally as a virtual tip jar. That's all it is. Definitely not required, but of course, always appreciated. So I'm just going to go around and fill in all these flowers as quickly as I can. Try to not make the petals too long or they end up looking like fireworks. So I like to fill in all those initial ones and then kind of take a step back, look at it from a little bit of a distance and you'll see if there's kind of a blank spot that you might need to add some more in. And you can do as many or as little flowers as you want. This, I've seen people do it to where it's like a hundred flowers and it looks super cute. Um, yeah. So feel free to do as much or as little as you want. And you can also switch it up in terms of colors, like I said. If you wanted to, you could do um, even a white center with yellow petals. That looks cute. Yellow center with white petals. I do recommend, like I said, sticking to um, a lighter color. I just find that it blend, it sticks out more. It doesn't blend into the background as much as the darker colors do. So like if you wanted to do blue, do a light blue, like a sky blue or obviously pink, maybe a light purple. Look how cute that is. Adorbs. I don't know that I've ever done pink flowers on here. I usually just stick to white, <laughs> but I didn't have white paint. So I was like, hmm, now what? Improvise. Yeah, I try to do lots of different techniques. Posted an alcohol ink video today. Loved that one. I've got a couple really fun resin videos coming up. And of course, lots of acrylic pours. And during the whole quarantine thing, definitely trying to do as many live videos as possible to keep you guys entertained. And also, I know a lot of people are at home with kids and they might want to do art projects. So just trying to do what I can. Of course, I know that also it's a little difficult to get art supplies right now, <laughs> but I haven't really had issues ordering from Michael's online. So you could do, you can do multicolored flowers. Absolutely. I've had people that have done like a whole rainbow of flowers. So yeah, you could do white and pink. I think I've done blue before, like the light blue. So I've done like white and light blue. Um, and you can do, of course, multiple colors on one flower if you want. So right now they're pink. So I could go in here with a little bit of white and add some white. When my sister-in-law does this, she gets all kinds of fancy. So I think that is really great. I see one spot... I feel like maybe actually even two more over here would be good. Like maybe one right here, one down here. So I'm just going to add those. Um, live videos are always recorded and then um, automatically posted afterwards by YouTube. So yeah, you will be able to watch it later. So I'm just going to add two more here. And then that about wraps it up. I'm going to just tell you guys a few more things you can do if you want. And then I'll go over the curing instructions one more time. And once again, if you are using a regular acrylic paint, you will need to seal it with something. Okay. Here we go. Let's take a look. I think I'm happy with that. What do you guys think? This is an acrylic paint, so it does dry really fast. So this is already all dry. So I'm gonna put this upside down though. Now, a couple other things you can do is on the bottom here, you can add something. So like on the bottom of this one, 
I added another little flower because why not? It's cute. So you can definitely do that. You could also just paint this bottom a solid color if you wanted to. And then also there are enamel pens, which they have at Michael's, etc. And they are just wine glass paint pens. It'll specifically say on there glass paint pens. And you can use those to write messages on there if you want. Um, you know, believe in sunshine. <laughs> Whatever you want to write on there. So that's just kind of another cute idea. Um, Jennifer, I don't know what your definition of expensive is. So I think they probably range between three to six bucks usually. But they also last you like a hundred years. So I have white, I have uh, multiple whites and multiple blacks only because I teach classes. If I didn't teach classes, you'd probably just need one of each. And you're, they're not too expensive now. Um, okay, so the glass specific is in, I don't totally understand your question, Danielle. Um, these are, so you can see here it says gloss acrylic paint. So it is a form of acrylic, but it's a little bit different. You can kind of tell it's it's thicker. So like, look, if I go like this with my paper, it's not gonna run because it's, it's definitely thicker. Um, it dries glossy. So like almost think of it in between like a regular acrylic paint and kind of like the puffy paints you used to put on t-shirts. So it's like almost in between there. And like this is, you can see it's kind of glossy, shiny, and it does have a little texture because it's thicker. So there's a few differences. And then it, it adheres to the glass really well. So I think that about wraps up our paint night. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for joining me. Really have a safe and fun Memorial Day weekend. Of course, I know it. there's people all across the world. So either way, I just have a very awesome weekend. And yes, this is dishwasher safe. If you read the bottle here, it says, um, so dry for one hour, clean up with soap and water. Um, they are top rack dishwasher safe when cured. Okay, so awesome paints and one little bottle goes, woohoo, <laughs> goes a long way. Like it takes me forever to get through these bottles. So I would just get one of all the colors you want. You can of course mix your own colors. So at least get the primaries, but they're not super expensive and they go a long way. You can paint, of course, wine glasses, you can paint vases, you can paint all kinds of things and they're awesome. Okay. Have a great weekend. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.